Hola, Yubis. ¿Cómo estás? How are you? Welcome to the flowing, flowing doga with me today. And today I'm bringing you, I'm sharing with you a sweet flow that is intended for the mornings um, or whenever you feel like a little activation of the stiff body or the, you know, like in the morning when you just wake up, you just need a little bit of boost in the energy and the, you know, like just to slowly start the day, it would be a perfect choice. And I hope as well as usual, enjoy with us, with my two babies. <laughs> All right, so with that being said, let's start in the easy sitting pose in the middle of our mat. I'll see you there. Now we are sitting in the center of our mat in the easy sitting position. Let's Relax our mind. Okay, well, you're just waking up, so you're in an easy peasy mode. You're going to about to start a day in a very blissful way. <laughs> well, let's just start with this beautiful flow with, with three beautiful breaths for this beautiful flow. Take a big inhale. Lift your hands up. Bring the energy up. Like hold it in between your palms, hold it there and gaze there, gaze at it. Like as if you can see an energy ball between your palms and bring it together in your palms and bring it to heart center. One more time. Lengthen the torso. Bring the energy ball in between your palms and bring your palms in. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> there is a coconut plant over there. I think she just got a little shot. Um, like scared by it. All right, so a little toss of circles to the right. Mm. To the left. Come back to center now. Uh, bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Stretch on the left side of the neck. Uh, most of the times when we're waking up, we are having stiff necks. The whole night, maybe even if it, depending on your sleeping positions, maybe your neck even a little bit sore. So it's really good to do some neck circles and neck stretch in the mornings. Bring the chin to the chest. Keep in this tilt. Just feel this back side of the left shoulder and neck stretching. Now just circle your head to the left. And circle your head to the right. Half circle. Just like this, back and forth. Feel the back of the neck stretching. And when you circle to the left ear, to the left shoulder, stay there. You can even extend your right arm, right hand out to intensify this stretch. Explore with your right fingers to find the most sweet spot and stay there. Deep breaths and in and breath out. Bring the chin to the chest. Feel the backside lengthening. 
Oh, so good. And now we'll bring the head to the right. And we'll do a full circulation towards the left. And we'll just continue the circulation clockwise. Come back to center and the other direction. Anti clockwise. Come back to center. Now lift your head and we just do a little bit of shoulder rotations. Inhale, lift the shoulders closer to your ears and exhale, rotate them from uh, to the forward. Inhale, lift them up and exhale forward and down. Inhale, forward and down, like dropping them. Drop them. Inhale, last time, fold and down. And then we'll do it ex uh, anteriorized, like to the back. Inhale, open the collarbone. Drop, drop, drop the shoulders to the back. Last time, inhale. Wow. Now a few rounds of seated cat and cow. Inhale, open the collarbone, open the chest, open the throat. Little back bend. Exhale, round, tuck the chin in. Like a cat. Inhale, a few rounds. At your own pace. Activating our spine in the mornings by a few wave motions of the spine. Come back to center, tabletop. <clears throat> Come into a tabletop and well, just lift the right leg up and bend the knee. Bring the left heel of the foot as closer as possible to our back of the head and try to lift your chest up, reach your head back towards the foot. Inhale. Slightly arch the back to meet this target. So bring the knee into the chest, round the spine, push the floor away, and ex inhale, bring the heel towards the back of the head, open the chest, open heart. Exhale, round, push the floor away, chin tuck into the chest, three more rounds at your own pace. And your last one, extend the right leg back and um, back of you and press the toes into the mat. Extend your right hamstring. Just move your body, shift your body a little bit back and forth. Feel the stretch of your right hamstring. And the rotate, pivot your left foot out to the back and rotate your right foot to um, pointing your toes forward and we'll come into a side plank pose. Hmm. Try to open up your chest towards the sky. A little variation of this side plank with the heart opening. Big inhales and exhales, like a very big stretch, you know. And come back to a normal side plank. And with the lift of your right fingertips, lift your torso also up. 
come into a gate pose. Feel the side stretch on the left side. Wow, 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 so juicy. And we'll come in between these two three more times. Inhale, side plank. Open the chest. Exhale, lift yourself up. Come into a gate pose. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, exhale, bring it down, side plank. And open the chest, inhale. Exhale here. Inhale, lift yourself one more time. Exhale. Gate pose. And now we'll come to center and bring your hands like welcome into a gate pose forward fold. So windy today. Gate pose forward fold. Bring your hands on the floor in front of you and legs maintaining the gate pose position. And bring the left hand down firmly pressing into a into the floor and inhale lift the right arm up and twist open your body to the right side back side of the mat actually literally <laughs> enjoy yourself like in this moment and as you lower down your right hand pivot your right toes um, pivot on your right heel and pointing your right toes towards the sky or we'll just come into a little deeper stretch on the right inner thighs Shift your body back and forth, side to side. Feel the sweet spots of stretching. I like to also do a little bit of cat and cow flows of the spine in this lower body opening. And now we'll just mm, shift our body to face the back of our mat and bring the right foot a little bit in and adjust yourself will come into a lizard pose hmm. feel the front side front left side stretching expanding dip your hips down towards the mat while opening your shoulders and call it no your collarbones, not your shoulders, sorry. Hmm. Stay still in this lizard or like move your hip side to side. I would like, always would like to move my body, you know, like because it is always different feelings. If you shift yourself side to side just to feel that stretch. To bring my coconut tree in. I think it's going to be blown away. <laughs> okay, bring the right knee back to meet the left tabletop. Lift the left knee and we'll do it on the left side. Bring the left heel closer to the forehead, uh, to the back of the head. Open the chain, open the heart. Exhale, rounding, push the floor away, inhale, exhale, three more times. At your last one, extend your left leg out behind you. Bring the toes on the floor and just shift your body back and forth. Feel the stretch. Pivot yourself to the right side plank. 
pointing your left toes towards the front, um, towards the camera, actually, towards the, towards me. Side plank. Open the chest, cactus arm. Like, just try to feel, you know, like a standard side plank or a heart opening side plank. And lift your torso up, 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 like somebody pulling your left hand over, and we'll just come into a gate pose. Oh my god, if you can have my feelings right now. So intense. And exhale back down, side plank. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale here. Inhale, lift yourself up. Gate pose. One last time. Shifting between these two. Inhale. Exhale here. Inhale, lift yourself up. Back to gate pose. And come to center, we'll come into a gate pose forward fold. Wow, right away I can feel the left inner thigh stretched. Oh, don't even have to do a lot. Just stay in this position of forward fold. And now we'll press our right hand into the floor, lift the left. Open towards the front side of our mat. Bring the left hand down and pointing the left toes upwards towards the sky. Whoa, can you feel the difference? You know, the different muscle groups stretching. When you're pointing the toes forward, it's more like the inner side. And then when you point the toes out, upward, it's more in the back and the inner, both. Shift yourself back and forth. A little wave motion of the spine, cat and cow. You no, know, up to you. Just be playful. Now we're moving our body to face the front side of our mat. We just adjust our right and left foot back in. Lizard pose. Feel the front opening of the right side, right front side, opening of the right front side, not the open, front opening, whatever. I think you know what I mean. Bring the left knee to meet the right. I'm gonna just reset my mat which is blown away by the wind. <laughs> Come into a child's pose. With the knees slightly bigger than the hip distance, bring the hips back to the heels. Come into this child's pose. Three long breaths in and out. Continue in the child's pose. Just move your hands towards the right. Place your torso to rest on top of your right thigh. Feel the side stretch on the left side of the arm and the torso. Even a little bit of lower back. Mm. Now back to center and to left. I really love side stretches.
he come back to center. 他低着头 ，will come into a downward facing dog. Walk out your dogs. Bend one knee at a time. Move your hips side to side, even just to loosen up. Activate your whole back side of the body. Then we'll come into stillness. In this downward facing dog, your heels don't have to reach the mat, but they are going to the direction of the mat. Why you are pointing your hips up towards the sky? Keep the knees micro bent to protect your hamstring, your knee, and bring the chest towards the side. Inhale, lift the right leg. Actually, the left. I'm going to face the camera. Lift the left leg up, three leg dog. Exhale, bring it in between the hand. High lunge. Lift yourself up, up, up. High lunge. Arms up. Inhale, open, open, open. Exhale, come into warrior two. Keep the front knee bent. Open yourself towards the right side of the mat. <sighs> Inhale, flip your left hand and bring it all the way back. While maintaining the lower body position, side stretch. Reverse warrior. And exhale, come back to center. Now, straighten both legs. I'm pointing the left toes forward, heels in, toes out. Open arms, so it's like a starfish pose, <laughs> like absorbing the extract, extraction of the nature of the sun. That's what you need. Take it into your own body, and. Toes in, heels out. Bring hands at waist. Hinge at your hips. Come into a wide leg forward fold. Hands can be rested on underneath our head on the floor for supporting. I'm gonna shift side to side again. Just try to really relax your head. Let the gravity pull it into the earth, so that you feel this total relaxation of your head and shoulder area. It's really decompression. This pose. Any uh reverse pose. Is very decompressing. Any reverse poses, sorry, are very decompressing. I'm just like adjusting my English. Ah, and now we'll move to face the back of our mat. And bring, bend the right knee, and. Pivot yourself to face the other side of the mat, and bring the right foot back, or be, place it in the middle, and we'll come into a full side plank or supported side plank. You can bring the right foot to meet the left. Lift yourself through your hips so that you don't dip your weight just into your left wrist. And we'll come to face down, downward facing dog. <sighs> Pedal out, relax. Chest towards the sides, and come into stillness. <sighs> Inhale, right leg lift, 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 lift. Bring the knees in. And place the left foot in between your hands, underneath your gaze. High lunge. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Bend the right knee. <sighs> Inhale, flip the right palm. Bring it all the way back into reverse warrior. Come back to center. Exhale and straighten both legs. Bring the right toes to face front. Heels in, toes out. Starfish pose. Absorb the energy pose. Energy absorbing pose. Very strong with the arms and the legs. And toes in, heels out. Hands at hips. Bend down. Wide leg forward fold once again. And open your legs a little bit more. See if you can reach your crown of your head onto the ground. Is it support of your hand? And then with the three points on the mat, on the earth, the crown of the head, both feet, and firmly place them on the ground, even on the pinky edge of the toe. And just feel this reversion. Pointing your hips towards the sky to help lift the weight up instead of dumping them into your shoulders and your feet. Like, imagine this, like you are lengthening your tailbone towards the sky so that you feel the lengthening of your hamstrings even. Don't curl. Open up, lengthening, pointing it towards the sky. Now bring the hands on the floor. Lift yourself up. Halfway lift. Now we come to face the front side of our mat. Low lunge. Side plank variation. A full side plank. <sighs> Downward facing dog. <sighs> Slowly walk little by little to the front side of our mat and to our feet, a meeting with our hand. A few rounds of spine, spinal, spinal movement like this. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Two more times. The spinal movement is really good in the mornings. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Even deeper. Last time, inhale. Exhale, relax. Ragdoll. Hold each elbow. Keep the knees micro bent. Relax the shoulders and the head, the upper body. Shift side to side. Now place the left hand down, right beneath our gaze, bend the left knee and open towards the right side. Lift the right arm up. And switch side, bend the right knee, place the right hand down, lift to the left. I think there is a drone pass by. <laughs> And we'll come into a forward fold. Gently roll yourself up like little by little. 
vertebra by vertebra. Like very lazy. Keep the knees bent to protect your lower back, and keep your neck bent. The head will come at last. <sighs> Now we are in a standing pose. I'm gonna face the camera. You can continue standing at front of your mat. Keep your eyes closed. Just feel, just to absorb all the benefits of all these sweet stretches. Take a big inhale. Lift your arms up. Gaze follow. Gaze keep closed, and grab the left wrist with your right hand. Pull it towards the right side. Stretch. Side bend. Stretch on the left side. Come back to center. Grab the right wrist. Pull it towards the left. Side bend on the other hand on other side. Come to center. Bring the hands at heart center. Big inhale and exhale here to resettle. Welcome into a last sweet pose, the heart opening back bend. Then we'll finish our flow. Take a big inhale. Lift the hands up and bring them together. I'm pointing them toward the back of our mat. <laughs> And come up. I cannot really instruct when I do this. <laughs> Bring the hands together at heart center. I mean, in this back bend, when you're doing this standing back bend, imagine that you are also pushing the hips frontward to forward. So your heart is like there is a string connected to your heart, and it's lifting upwards, and your hip, hips are pushing forward. So it's like these two forces to keep your stance in the right way. We'll do it one more time just to feel the differences. Take big inhale, arms up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale back to center. Exhale, heart center. Thank you very much for joining today's sweet morning flow with me. This can be also a beautiful flow for the afternoon if you need a coffee break or energy boost. It fits in all scenarios, but it's intended for my morning. So, yes. It's a sweet morning flow, and as usual, I hope you like the presence of my doggies, my babies, and this beautiful view of the beautiful Palm Cathedral. I hope to see you soon in my next flow. Till then, have a good day, have a good week. Bye bye.